So the evil soul says, Woe to you, where are you taking me? And the Prophet وسلم, he said, Everyone hears the crying and the calls of this soul except the human beings. And if the human beings were able to hear what this soul is saying, the screaming and the crying and the wailing of this soul, if the human beings were able to hear it, they would die due to shock. We cannot bear it. In this life, for us to bear, to listen to this voice of the soul, to bear, to listen to the voice of this body, crying out, no, 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 don't take me to this grave. I hate going and meeting Allah. I hate being buried. If we were to hear this, then the Prophet is saying we would die due to shock. That is the reality. These are the things which are happening, which we cannot realize, which we do not hear about. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected us from hearing these sounds. For had we heard it, we would be from those who would die due to shock. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, If it was not due to the fact that none of you would bury their dead, I would have asked Allah to allow you to hear the sounds of the people of the grave. Allahu Akbar. What's happening inside the grave? The punishments, the rewards, the other conversations, the angels, the soul, all of these things, the sounds that are coming out of the grave, the Prophet ﷺ said, I would ask Allah, I would make dua to Allah to make you, the people, hear these sounds. But I'm afraid if I did that, you would stop burying your dead. No one would bury their dead anymore due to the fear of the grave, due to the fear of what lays ahead in the grave. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah.